Welcome to this Google Drive screencast on getting started with Google Documents. Specifically in this screencast, we're going to take a look at how to share a document with others. So here I am in the Google document I've been working on. And let's say I want to share this so that I can have others come in and edit or we can add to this document together. I go up to the big blue share button. Each document you create within Google Drive is private only to you. And it says right here private. If you want to add specific users to have access to this document, you come down to add people and you click in this add people box. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. So in the add people box, you can start typing the names or the email addresses of the others that you want to add to this file. So I typically recommend you type the person's last name, especially if you're working in a school district account or a business account where you have a lot of people that are part of your organization. So if I start typing the person's last name, you see that it kind of auto populates down here with names. You can click on this to add the full email address into the add people box. And it is important that that full email address be in there. That's how files are shared within Google Drive. You can add more people at one time. You don't have to just add one at a time. So I can type the name of my next teammate and add them in there as well. I believe you can add up to 200 individual users to a document. And we'll get into using Google Groups for for sharing documents to classes and larger groups on uh, another screencast. So I've added the people in that I want to share this to. Next thing I have to decide is what rights do I want to give them? Do I want to give them edit rights, comment rights, or view rights? Edit means they can actually edit the document just like I can. Comment means they can only have those comment bubbles on the side. So this would be good if uh, if a student needed others to just comment on their paper, maybe as like a peer review, students could just give other students comment rights so that the other students would not be able to interfere with the actual document. Can view just means simply that. They can only view the document. So you have to decide what rights to give the people you're adding. Third part here is to decide if you're going to notify those people with an email or not. This is checked by default. Uh, this is a great way to kill two birds with one stone. If it is checked and I hit share and save, those people will get an email message with the link to the file. So it's a little notification of, hey, I've shared this to you, and they can go right to the file from that email. If I wanted to write them a little message, I could hit add message and actually add a message in here as well. You don't have to do that. That is optional. If you're doing this with students, highly recommend that you uncheck notify people via email, especially if you're in a classroom situation where 30 students are starting a document and they're sharing it to the teacher. Uh, uncheck notify people via email. That means that the teacher just won't get 30 emails. And you hit share and save. If you don't send the email, you get this message that says you're skipping invitation. That is OK. And notice now my two teammates are now added to this file. So that is how you add people to share. Those people would be allowed to come in. If we were in at the same time, we would see each other typing. Uh, and that is how sharing a document works with others. Thanks for watching.